Hello and welcome to Cube 57. I'm Dr. Laura Murillo, President and CEO of the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. We're happy to have you joining us here on Houston Legends. And as always, we find some of the best people in Houston to showcase. And today is none other than Marcus Davis. You know him. You've seen the lines around his restaurant at the <laughs> Breakfast Club, at the Reggae Hut. And also, most recently, he's going to talk to you about a new restaurant that he's got in downtown Houston. You hear him on the radio. He's a motivational speaker, doing great work here in the Houston area. Please welcome Marcus Davis. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for being with us. Happy to have you here. I so enjoy your uh, waffles and, and chicken. Uh, <laughs> it's worth the wait. Uh, I go there, and, and I don't use your yeah. utensils most of the time. I pick up that chicken and, and eat it the way I think you <laughs> did, intended it to be had. You know, it, it's funny you say that because I, I am... I am, uh, full confession, I eat with my hands. I love my food, I love touching my food. <laughs> and it, I don't know, maybe it's in my DNA, but uh, I was out one day, and in, in public, it doesn't matter. I was out one day, and I was picking something up and I ate it, and the waitress came by, she said, uh, she said would you like a fork with that? <laughs> Instead of your hands? I said, well, uh, I don't know who made that fork. God made my fingers, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for you, and you know what? People have enjoyed um, the experience, because I do right. believe it's an experience, and you've been recognized in a variety of different yeah. magazines. USA Today, Good Morning America, Esquire Magazine, Forbes Magazine. When you started out, Marcus, yes. did you think that this restaurant, the Breakfast Club, with a K, and we're going to we're going right, to get to that, right. would have this national exposure? Uh, the answer is unequivocally yes. Good for you. Wholeheartedly. Yes. Uh, and I say that, and sometimes when I say that, you know, it throws people you know, off, off tilt um, because a lot of times people are expecting me to say no. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but the, yeah, I'd, I'd be lying if I did, and I'd be in denial of something that I believe is very, very important for entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. and that is vision. Yes. I, I think the ability for uh, a leader, for an entrepreneur to be successful, they have to be able to see as much as they possibly can the route, the path, the, the, the direction that they're going. Mm -hmm. So when the line's out the door around the corner, the restaurant's full, and people ask me, uh, did you ever think that it'd be like that? I said, yes, I did. I said, I saw you sitting in this seat long before you sat down in this wow. seat. And so uh, I, I encourage entrepreneurs to, to embrace the yes. concept of, of fully seeing yes. what it is that they're trying to do, trying to be where they're trying to go. Well, and that's, that's very interesting because a very similar thing, you know, when I left my career in the Texas Medical Center to run the Chamber of Commerce at a time when it was having a lot of challenges, as you remember, right. I did have that vision. And I knew that it would take people, passion, and persistence. And I do believe that many people who have gone on to do great things have been very visual and yeah. can see it and work toward those goals. And 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 to be to be you know honest, the idea of entrepreneurship is so challenging. There are going to be a lot of setbacks, right, yeah. or obstacles, or yes. challenges that, that are ahead of you. And sometimes you know that the, the, the vision, that picture that you've painted in your head. It's the only thing you have to hold on to. You've gotten so many no's, you've gotten so many rejections, you've gotten so many door, doors closed in your face, yes. but the only thing that can keep you going is what you see in your head and your ability to believe wholeheartedly yes. in its ability to become yeah. uh, reality. And you've taken that concept with right. restaurants, which by the way, you know, my family's in the restaurant business. It's a hard Bless, business. Hard. It's a very hard <laughs> business. You've got to deal with people and products right. and, and daily consistency with your food. But you've been very ambitious with this. Yes. Not only is it the uh, Breakfast Club, but also reggae, which is phenomenal. Right. I know you invited me to lunch there, <laughs> and that jerk chicken just oh, falls yeah. off the bones. And so the Reggae Hut uh, Cafe, and now most recently Culture, which is right. yet to be tested you know, by me, we but got, I'm on got, my we way. Get to the test. So tell me about Culture. So Culture, I, my definition of entrepreneurship is filling the void in the marketplace that the marketplace is calling for consciously or subconsciously, okay. unconsciously. Um, and you have to listen to what the marketplace is asking mm -hmm. for and look for the gaps uh, where the marketplace needs something to be filled. Okay. And culture was the, 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 the response to a cry, a call that I heard from the community, which is we want Southern food. We want uh, the, the ability to have, you know, grandma's greens and yes. macaroni and cheese and meatloaf and all those good things. But we want them with a twist. We want them with today's chefs 
touch on okay. grandma's recipes, okay. and we want them in a certain setting, right? Okay. We want them in an environment yes, that, that's good to come to after work, uh, for happy hour. We want it beautiful. where we can bring colleagues from yes. uh, for meetings. We want it somewhere where we can go take our wife to celebrate our anniversary, our birthdays, uh -huh. or things like that. So. That, that, that's the idea. And then, of course, uh, the, the idea of being able to make a cultural expression of what your ancestors have con contributed to the earth, yeah. right? And so when we reflect on food in, in the United States and uh, the great contributions that my ancestors have made in the South uh, by bringing over techniques and strategies and flavors and blends uh, and the okra and the black eyed pea and things yes. of that nature, coming through the transatlantic slave trade, making it to the to the southern part of the United States. So it's good to talk about those things, uh, as well as uh, jazz being the original art form uh, in America, and t to be able to have jazz musicians come and and express themselves. In our little, we got a little bit of stage, not not a big band, but mm -hmm. you know, just a place where we can play a little bit, bit of music and and art. So right. culture is about cultural exp expressions through food, music, and art. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we'll be right back. Yeah, we'll be right back. Thank you.